Hi everyone, Emma is here. Today we are getting real and raw. If you feel like you've hit the rock bottom, you are at the right place. I've been there too. No money, no motivation, no hope. But guess what? It can all be turned around. If you are simply thinking, I've got no chance. Then this video is for you. Before we dive into how to get back on your feet, here's one tip. If you want to truly change your life, hit subscribe on my Telegram channel. There I share the top earning strategies and real secrets to financial independence. If you are ready to climb from the gutter to greatness, check the link in the description and join me. So let's get into today's topic. How to climb out the rock bottom you've hit. Well, the first step to getting out is admitting where you are right now. No denial, no excuses. Yeah, life is rough and yeah, it's all going sideways. You have to accept it because if you want to start moving up, you can't until you recognize that you're at the bottom. Some people stay at denial stage thinking tomorrow it will somehow get better. But remember, nothing changes until you take action, face reality and get ready to make that change. Let's start small. Now we're going to get to the second step. You have to cut out all the unnecessary expenses. It's the first thing. You eliminate the wasteful spending. It's a common mistake for those who hit the rock bottom. Spending all the money on nonsense, buying the new phone when the old one is just fine, or going out multiple times a week and blowing all your cash. It's fine in the moment, but later you're broke and wondering why things aren't improving. I used to be like that, spending on shiny, unimportant things and realizing it was my parents' money, not even my own. But later, once I realized that every reckless expense was moving me away from my goals, I cut back and I worked on earning for myself. You don't need new gadgets or designer clothes. It's all just a distraction. Start controlling your finances. Look at your bank app, check where your money is going and cut what is unnecessary. The third step, figure out what you really want from life. You have to ask yourself, what is it that you truly, truly want? Many people feel stuck because they don't know when they're headed and where and what's going on. If you have no goals, you are just drifting. Where do you want to work? Where do you want to see yourself in one year, two years, three years? You don't have to aim to be a billionaire maybe you want to save up for a new place start your own business or find a job that brings both satisfaction and income that's good once you identify what you actually want you have the motivation to move forward which brings us to the next step find your talents and monetize them once you have a goal, look at what you can do already. We all have talents. You just need to recognize them and use them. Are you good with people? 
sales or marketing may be it for you. Good with design? Start creating websites, logos or illustrations and sell your services. Do not be afraid to start small. Many people I know who built their freelance careers started from tiny things. Over time, you'll grow, find your niche and start earning the real money. Step five, get rid of bad habits. To change your life, you gotta ditch the bad habits. Parties, drinking, endless hours on social media, they don't bring you closer to success. They simply pull you down. Your life reflects your actions. Keep wasting time on user stuff? Sure, and you will stay right where you are. I get it, parties and drinking, it's fun for the night, but the next morning you are left with a hangover and an empty wallet. Binging TV shows? It will not give you skills or help you grow. I get it, breaking habits is tough, but it is essential if you want to move up. Start controlling your time. Remove distractions and work on yourself. Every hour wasted, it's a missed opportunity. Start using a task journal. Here is a powerful tool to increase your productivity. A daily task journal. Let's be honest. How many times have you gone to bed thinking, what did I even do today? Probably many times, right? I was the same. But once I started listing tasks for each day, my life got way more organized. The journal keeps you focused on what really matters. Start planning your day the night before. Write down three to five tasks to accomplish tomorrow and try to get them done. I'll give you an example. If you want to learn a new skill, write in your journal. Spend an hour learning this skill. Check in at the end of the day. Did you do it? If yes, you are a step closer to your goal. If not, well, that's on you. Get organized and you'll see your productivity and control over your life flourish. Finally, I'd love to talk about how I got out and how you can do it too. Guys, I know it's hard to believe now, but I've been at the rock bottom myself. Blowing money, partying nonstop, without no goals, no real progress and no motivation. But I changed everything. I started controlling my finances. I defined what I wanted. I figured out how to monetize my skills, cut out distractions, and began planning my days carefully. And guess what? It worked. For me, trading became my main source of income. And I would highly recommend it if you're looking into growing financially, seriously. It's great. But the reason why I got so good at trading is because I put a lot of effort into it and I was really focused on making progress and learning. If you want to climb out, you have to stop blaming life and stop making excuses. You have every opportunity to grow. All you need is just to take action. And remember, I'm here to help you. So, if you want more tips how to transform your life and get that financial freedom you are dreaming about, make sure to subscribe to my Telegram channel. The link is below and I hope to see you there because if you're really serious about this change, you will do everything you need to to make it happen. It's all about taking that responsibility and doing something about it. 
but it all starts with realizing where you are right now and just carefully planning step by step it's the art of small steps it's not like a huge leap the big jump no it's small steps towards the bigger goal and I find my story really inspiring even for myself and I hope you do find it inspiring as well so in my telegram channel the link is going to be below I talk about life I talk about motivation I talk about trading a lot because that's what really helped me to get the financial freedom which I truly truly enjoy and appreciate coming from not really a well-off financial background but also the flexibility and that sense of responsibility that I'm responsible for my own progress but also if I'm not making that progress I'm responsible for not making the progress so I am really happy to talk to you and to share my knowledge and my life experience and I hope you find it useful and helpful and I'll see you very soon on my TJ channel and on my YouTube channel. Thank you for being here. I love you all. Bye.